welcome to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to unpack my makeup bag. I know usually videos are pack my makeup bag or come along with me to pack my makeup bag, but I didn't have time to do that. And honestly, I feel like this is better. So I'm going to unpack my makeup that I took with me to a recent trip to New York City, and I'm gonna let you know if I used it or didn't use the product. So usually I overpack makeup just as much as I overpack clothing, and there's that was the case with this trip. So we'll go through my makeup bag that I took with me, my brush holder, and talk about everything that I took and take it all out so that I can put it back um, where it belongs. So. Yeah, join me for this Unpack My Makeup Bag. Before we get started, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. I hope that you'll like this video and give it a thumbs up and come back to see me. But let's get into unpacking my makeup bag. So for this video, I'm going to set everything on a towel so that I can remove things out of the makeup bag. So you won't be seeing me, you'll just be seeing the products. But let's get into that. Let's move it all over to the floor right now. Okay, so first, as you can see, is my very dirty makeup bag. I purchased this from Sephora. I used to have another one very similar to it and I loved it, but it started peeling. So I did upgrade to this bag. So it does have a pocket on the bottom that says makeup. And then this one has Velcro and it's removable, which I really love. And it says toiletries, but obviously I use it for makeup. It also has some places for brushes, which I don't use. And then it has a pocket on top. So it, I've had this for quite a few years. Oh, it also has a zipper right here. Um, it says jewelry. So I love it. You can hang it, which I do enjoy doing when I travel. Um, but if I find something similar, I'll link it down below because like I said, I had another one that was very similar that was falling apart before I purchased that, this one. In fact, the one that I had before matched this snake skin print and it was, this mirror was Velcroed in there. So now I keep it in this pocket. So let's go ahead and start here. The items in this pocket are usually always in here. So one is this mirror. I also have this larger mirror. I think this is from Avon and it's like a trifold style and you can use this to open it. I'm not gonna open it because I don't wanna blind you, but it does have a mirror here. So I usually keep that in there because it helps for when you're traveling to have a mirror like that. So I also have a sponge in there and a sharpener. So these items I always keep in this pocket. And of these products, I used none for this trip. Usually I use the silver one, but I didn't this time. And there goes my hook. Okay, so let's go into the next pocket, which is this one right here. So I actually, let's go with the bottom one because this one has all of my prep and like my first step makeup. So first I have the Pharmacy Green Defense Daily Mineral Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So yes, I did use this. I also have my Bare Minerals Butter Drench, Butter Drench Restorative Rich Cream. This is my moisturizer. And yes, of course, I also did use this. I also stuck in this L'Oreal Infall Infallible Glow Lock Illuminating Primer. I used this as well as the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which I also used. Also kept in here is my Sephora Solid Clean Solid Brush Cleaner. I have a couple of these and I only use them for travel purposes. And of course I did use this to clean my beauty sponges. I also have my Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue. I did take it, I did use it. Now, I don't always take the entire container. Sometimes I try to stuff some inside of this ColourPop Brow Boss Gel um, thingamabob. If you watched my full face of ColourPop, you heard me talking about this. Um, but I did take both and I did use both on this trip. Future editing crystal. Um, I realized that I did a terrible job with the product shots during the video. So one, you're not gonna see a lot of the products. <laughs> At two, I'm trying to embed images for those products that I didn't, or all the products. Um, so I'm sorry about that. I, this is something I should refilm. I just don't have time to do it. So um, yeah, apologies for that. I'll get better, I promise. <laughs> On to the video. Ooh, I also took an eye cream, the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. I did use this. 
I took two pretty fresh foundations. I took the Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer and the Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I only used this one, the Tinted Moisturizer. It gives me kind of a fresh glow. We were just traveling around, so this was just the easiest. It looks the most natural, and this is all I used. So I did not use it, but I did pack this one. For concealers, I packed my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in Medium 90W and my e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer Matte Finish in Light Beige, and I used both of these. I took my number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in Light Medium, and I did use this. This is what I used to set my under eyes. I took my Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in Nude Kiss. I also used this one. I accidentally took this one out, but this one was also in here, so we'll take it both out. Um, I took my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Coconut and my Fourth Ray Beauty Glisten Up Illuminating Mist. I used both of them because I am extra and I need both to set my face always. So this is a product that I generally keep in this bag at all times. It's like a travel, my one of my travel blushes is what I like to call it. It's from Tarte. It is also like a sample size in the color Exposed. So let's see if we can open this here. I have hit pan and it's a little bit broken, um, mostly because I travel with it. So this always stays in this bag. So I'm actually gonna put it back in there instead of putting it off to the side because I'm leaving it in there. I also took my Laura Geller Baked Gel, Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. You would never know I was a speech therapist by the way I was talking today. I did use this I think like once or twice. I don't think I used it the entire trip, but this was a highlighter that I chose to take. I took a few lip products. Um, let's see, I took a couple lip liners, the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Lip Liner in Rocksteady and the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Nude One. I only used the KKW Beauty one. I also took a red lip ColourPop lippy stick in, what color is this? Weekender, but I did not use it. I also took this Maybelline, what is this called? This Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Exhilarator, did not use it. And I took this Fenty Cream Gloss Balm in Mauve Wives, and I did use that. So that is our first pocket of this bag. So let's go into the next pocket up here. So I took three eyeshadow palettes with me. Four eyeshadow palettes with me. I took the Boudoir Noir by ColourPop. I did not use this. I took the Sweet Talk Pressed Powder Palette. I did use this. I took the Soft Glam um, palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I almost always travel with this. I find that it has like everything that you would need to do a variety of looks. I feel like it's very neutral, but it has darker colors to do smoky eyes. I didn't use it this trip, but I almost always travel with this palette. Let's see if we can close it. And then last I took, oops, the Khaki Haze by Huda Beauty, and I did use this one. So more greenish kind of colors. I should have showed you the other one that I actually used too, which was this one, the Sweet Talk. I was into the peachy vibes that weekend. This is something that I always keep in here. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. However, I don't have Laura Mercier powder in here. Instead, I have RCMA what is it called? No powder, no light, no filter, no flashback, no color powder, whatever. That's what I have in here is that RCMA powder. And we'll go ahead and put it on this bottom pocket just because it will stay in here along with this. This is from Too Faced. It is a chocolate soleil sample. So it's a bronzer and I always keep this in my bag. Oh my gosh, can you see how glittery my fingers are from rummaging through here? I also have this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in a lump Illuminati and for some strange reason this lives in the bag as well. So we'll leave that there. I have this Clarins UV Plus Broad Spectrum Cream. Um, I keep it in there as well as this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion although this is pretty down to the nub. So um, this should be in my empties soon but we'll go ahead and put it down here for now. I took this e.l.f. what are these called? Cheek Blush Duos or something like that in Lychee. I did I use this? No, I didn't use it. I only used the cream blush. So I took it, but didn't use it. I took this super, super shock shadow from ColourPop. It's the collab with Raw Beauty Christie and the color Mycelium. I used this once. I 
whoa, this is disgusting. This is going in the trash. This usually stays in my bag. How embarrassing. This is a Juicy Couture um, perfume, but look at the color of that. I, th I think it's supposed to be clear. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, we're going to trash that. We're going to throw that over there because that's disgusting. I also put in this Wet n Wild eyeshadow single in the color Brulee. I did not use it this trip, but I do use it from time to time. And then clearly I have a hair tie, so that stays in the bag as well. So we are done with my Sephora bag. We've unpacked everything that we need to, toss it over there, and then we'll go to my brush roll. So I use this Morphe brush roll, and I think that Jacqueline Hill was the one who first spoke of this, and I bought it and I love it. So let's open her up. Um, so also everything's gonna be dirty. No judgments, please. Remember we are unpacking, so I need some grace. Before we get into this, I'm sorry if you hear any outside noise. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon in Austin, Texas. It's probably in the 70s. The sun is out. It was a gloomy day yesterday. I generally don't film on Saturdays because it's pretty hectic. My neighbor is moving, so there's been a moving truck. I can hear someone doing yard work and there's always a motorcycle driving by. So. I apologize in advance. I try not to talk during those times, um, but sometimes it's hard. I also live near an airport, and so there's always planes flying. So I'm trying my best to, see, do you hear the grass outside, the, the trimmer, the weed eater, whatever it's called? Um, I try my best to cut those parts out and not to talk through them, but it's almost virtually impossible on this day. So let's get started with the contents in this very dirty brush holder from Morphe. Um, so first is my Tati Beauty Blendiful. <laughs> it's also very dirty. I need to wash it. Yes, I did use this. I took a few face brushes, so let's talk about those. Let's start with this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Yes, I used this. I used this to apply my ColourPop foundation. I also brought all of these brushes, a blush brush, a powder brush, a highlighting brush, and a bronzing brush. All of these are from Morphe, and I only used this one for this trip. I haven't really been using a lot of powder products. I've been trying to stick to cream, so that was the case during this trip. So I took them just in case, but didn't use them, only use this. Also in here, I keep my mascaras. And so I took both of these, um, both from L'Oreal. One's the Voluminous Original, one's the Bambi Eye Mascara. I only use the Bambi Eye during this trip. Oh, look at that, another eyeshadow primer potion. And actually this lives in this container, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in here. Um, it also may be on its last leg of product. I really need to check both of them out and remove them and put them in my empties if that is the case. So there is that. I always take um, this little comb brushy thing. It's a Sephora brush, I did use it, I always do. I also have this little Eco Tools container with a beauty sponge. So I take the smaller one just because when it's wet, it still fits in this container, um, but it does need to be clean. So I do have this, I did use it, it's dirty. I keep this in my vanity and I also travel with it now. It's my Nivea Care and Color. I'm very particular about my chapsticks and lip balms. The reason I do use this one is because of the color on it. So that way I don't look so dead sometimes, especially when I'm filming and I have no makeup on. I tend to put this on first or when I'm all done with my makeup and I'm getting ready to leave the house, instead of putting any lip color because I'm wearing a mask anyways, I tend to put this on my lips instead and it has just a, a little bit of a berry tone. So I did use this. This Laura Mercier little puffer also lives in this box so we'll leave it here next to the urban decay thing as well as this bite beauty whoops this bite beauty agave lip mask so we'll leave those in there and let's go through the rest of our things here all right ah, not a smart choice not, oh this also lives in here it's the anastasia clear brow gel does it have any product in it you know what we're going to put this in the empty so we're going to throw it over there with the juicy couture uh, perfume and take care of that so i always keep a little trimmer, or I always take a little trimmer with me. I, we have facial hair, it happens. So I take this little trimmer and my boyfriend and I shared it. So it was a good, a good idea to take this product. So gotta put that away. I also keep my tweezers in here. These are Japanese tweezers. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I left these in New York. 
Thankfully, I didn't. I found them in my brush roll or in here. Actually, I found it in another bag, but this is where I should have kept it. Um, and I went ahead and put it here to show you that this is a product that I take. I did use it on myself and I plucked out a hair on my boyfriend's eyebrows because I'm that weird girlfriend. That is who I am. And that happened. So he's going to hate me when he hears that in the video. If he gets this far, probably won't get this far. So we'll hope for that. I took two eyeliners, one from Ardency In in black. I don't think it's called black. It's called, I don't think the color is, I think we're already sharpened the color out. So I took this black one and then this brown one from ColourPop. It's a the collab one with Raw Beauty Christie in the color Woodsy. So I took these two eyeliners. I used them both. And then I took all of these eye brushes, mostly Morphe brushes. I have these brushes and then one ColourPop and one Wet n Wild one. I ended up not using this Wet n Wild angled brush, but I did use the remainder of my eye brushes. I generally take more eye brushes than this, but for some reason I decided less was more and I survived off of that. Who would have thought? So there's that and there's my, oh, and a hair clip. Did you catch that? You just never know. So there you go. So we have cleaned out my bag and my brush container, brush box. I don't know what to call this. And yeah, it's time to put them back in their place. I hope that you enjoyed this style of video. What are some of your staples that you take when you go on a trip? I know that I definitely pack different things depending on different trips and I even pack different bags depending on where I'm going and what I have room to pack. So I'd love to know what some of your essential packed makeup goods are when you travel. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, now would be the time to do so. Also like this video and share it with your friends and come back and see me. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one.